It is a bombshell announcement with the fallout continuing tonight. What happens now that U.S. Senator Bob Corker has decided not to run for reelection next year? This afternoon, Corker said in a statement in part, quote, when I ran for the Senate in 2006, I told people that I couldn't imagine serving for more than two terms. Understandably, as we have gained influence, that decision has become more difficult. But I have always been drawn to the citizen legislator model. And while I realize it is not for everyone, I believe with the kind of service I provide, it is the right one for me. Corker was elected to two terms in the Senate beginning back in 2006, and he now leads the influential Senate Foreign Relations Committee. All of this creating a power vacuum in Washington and a question for us here at home. What happens next? News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us with a look at some possible answers. Jason. That's right. The first hurdle is going to be the Republican primary in August. It's less than a year away. And so now a lot of big name Republicans are trying to figure out whether they're going to run for Corker's seat. The stunning announcement came this afternoon, sending shockwaves throughout Washington and in Tennessee, where a big decision now looms. Who may add their name to be the next senator from the state? I'm sure a lot of people are assessing or reassessing their situation to decide what they might want to do. Well, hello there, Tennessee. Among the potential additions, Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn, a GOP favorite who today told The Hill, yes, she's now considering running. And other possibles, any of the candidates currently declared for governor. And as News Channel 5's political analyst Pat Nolan says, even potentially the current governor himself. He'd probably be seen as something of a moderate. There'll be people within the party establishment who would think he'd be a good candidate. Senator Corker traded insults with President Trump last month. Corker saying after the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, that Trump has not yet been able to demonstrate the stability nor some of the competence to be successful. And Trump responding in a tweet, strange statement by Bob Corker considering that he's constantly asking me whether or not he should run again in 18. Tennessee not happy. Nolan says that's evidence of a divide in the Republican Party that could trouble them in 2018. Anytime a party goes into its primary divided, that raises the possibility it comes out of its primary into the general election divided. If they come into that, that obviously gives the Democrats a better chance, not, a, not any kind of slam dunk or anything like that, but certainly a, an opportunity for them to take advantage. And today, the state Democratic Party seized that opportunity, sending out an email to supporters asking for campaign contributions. With health care and tax reform still yet to deal with, in Corker's statement today, he said the most important public service he has to offer could well come in the next 15 months. Reporting live in Nashville, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.